welcome back. Today we are outside. So these are my favorite workouts. Um, spontaneously, Pat and I decided to come over last week and run the, the stairs at Allen Creek Dam in Westerville, Ohio. But the stairs are packed because everybody's running the stairs. So then we looked over and we we're like, well, there's a sweet hill. We might as well just run that. So after we did it, I told him, I was like, I want to keep doing this every week and do different progressions. So we did it for the first time last week. It was super popular on Instagram. So I figured I'd share this workout with you guys today and us running up the hill in our vest. Today, we're going to progress it with jump squats instead of air squats. And then we're going to finish with an awesome ab workout up by the water. It's just a perfect day here in Westerville, Ohio. So we figured let's continue getting outside of the gym and doing different stuff just because one we're all stuck at home so it feels good to be outside and get some vitamin D and two that's the most fun part about training and that's why everyone loves games training is because it's the odd stuff the stuff we don't do all of the time so even though we were super sore and we jokingly said we'd never do it again we're back this week and we want to bring you guys along so we hope you enjoy so we've got our vest on, Pat's wearing 20, I'm wearing 14. We are gonna do one round every two minutes. That's the really spicy part. Uh, uh, one hill sprint, so just find a hill. The hill should take you 30 seconds or under. So we were like 25 to 28 seconds last time. And then we're gonna go right into 15 jump squats. So jumping, it's a, you don't have to touch your head to the sky. Just get your feet off the ground and open your hips. And hopefully, we're prepped and ready after doing the regular air squats last week. So if you haven't done it, start with one hill sprint, 15 air squats. If you have done it, we're taking it to jump squats this week. Now we fly. We celebrating the times I'm We made it here lactic buildup it's different than an air squat like that little bit of jump it's just like blood everywhere and it just hurts and it's like oh my gosh it's 15 like just do it and one side I think I was doing like threes and twos uh, just trying to keep moving and all I could think about Pat was saying he was so his legs were so unhappy he couldn't even think straight it just hurts like there's nothing like it it's pure grinding and grunt work and that's not the stuff I love. I like the technique. I do like to grind, but man, that's different. It hurts. <sighs> what do you think? Uh, it's gross. It's literally like nauseating when you get to the top. And this is, should be like a wheelhouse workout for me. Uh, that distance is right in a range that I like. I'm more of a sprinter, a little bit more power output, but you get to the top and the jump squats are like RX plus plus. Like literally I feel sick doing them. I'm doing to singles on jump squats. That's how bad they hurt. It's one thing to exercise all the time, but I think one thing that we're all learning is when I come out to this place, like it makes me feel so good. Even though that workout, excuse my language, but it totally sucked. <laughs> um, it was hard and I wanted to quit, but I'm so much happier now that I got it done. And I think looking around and while I'm doing it, I just see all of these people walking across the top of the dam and there's people next to me with their kids running hill sprints and there's people's dogs and everyone's on the stairs. And there's just so many people out enjoying the beautiful weather. And I feel like normally that's not the case. There's usually half of this amount of people that are out enjoying the weather or exercising or getting out of the routine and doing something different. So I think what we can all take away from this is we should be doing different stuff and we should get outside and we should spend time with our kids and you know we should make time for those things. So when we do get back into whatever the new normal is, it's just remembering how these things make us feel. So I was listening to a podcast 
the other morning. So I've been starting my day a little bit differently. I've been trying to drink 20 to 25 ounces of water and then walk a mile or run a mile while I listen to a podcast. And I was listening to a podcast about happiness and how they say that when your alarm goes off, your brain's gonna instantly tell you you'll be happier if you stay in bed, but that's not scientifically proven. So what's scientifically proven is if you get up and you move and you drink your water, that will make you healthier in the long run, and that will also make you feel happier because of the good endorphins that are scientifically released. So we think snoozing and we think staying in bed is gonna help us, but it's actually probably gonna make us feel worse. So I think that also goes into this, is like this stuff makes us feel really great. So just making sure that we don't forget, just because everything's closed right now and we can't you know, go out to eat or do those things, that we don't forget about going to the parks and hanging out and riding our bikes and playing with our dogs and our kids and everything like that. All right, guys, I'm gonna finish now that I'm slightly recovered. Pat bowed out on this one. He's dead. He's probably rolling down the hill somewhere, um, but it's beautiful. So I figured I'd finish with some abs and try to get a suntan while I'm at it. This is from our at-home bodyweight abs program. You need nothing but yourself. So I've got my yoga mat, some beautiful weather, and I'm gonna do every two minutes for 10 minutes. 12 single leg alternating V-ups into 12 hip reaches. So I'm gonna reach my heels to the ceiling and then 12 side plank bounces on my right and 12 side plank bounces on my left. So let's get started. I'll start my clock. There's no deeper love than what we're feeling. There's no deeper love. I hope you guys enjoyed. You should definitely give the hill sprints a try. Find any hill, something that takes you about 30 seconds to make it up. Try air squats first. The jump squats were pretty gnarly. Um, so if you haven't done it, start with your air squats. Try to walk down. I was hoping I'd be able to jog, but I honestly felt like my legs might buckle and I might roll down the hill today. So I walked all the way down. Um, the abs were awesome. Check out our bodyweight at home abs program. And then for us, Pat and I are just kind of in limbo right now. We are crossing our fingers. We've heard Ohio may be reopening soon. So we're just waiting to hear more on how we can get our doors open, when we can get our doors open, and if we can keep everyone as safe, safe as possible when we do get to open. We are looking forward to seeing everyone so soon and we hope you guys are staying safe and well. Um, if there's anything coming up that you really wanna see, any nutrition, any stretching, any specific workouts, or maybe if you drop a workout in the comments, Pat and I'll pick one out of all of the comments and do it. So make sure to put a workout down there. But I hope you guys have a great day and make sure if you guys like this hit the like button i'll talk to you guys soon Oh. <sighs>